Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another quick tip. Today we're going to talk about how you can uh, put divs side by side and do other nice tricks. So let's get started. So let's start with the, the divs. <clears throat> um, we're going to make a first div, which is the wrapper of both divs. And then under there, we're going to put the first div. And we're just going to make it easy, calling it one. And then... We're going to make a second div and call it two. Okay. So, uh, and then we're going to give them both a class of box. That way it's easy to manipulate them both at the same time. Okay. So there we have it. We have one, which is going to be uh, the first one and then the one on the right. So uh, if we just run that, nothing happens because we need to give them some properties. So let's start with the wrapper. The wrapper is going to be a uh, width of 600 pixels and a height of 600 pixels just to make it a perfect square. And we're going to give it some color so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to put it in the center. And there's our box. Okay. Then uh, let's put it, make it a little smaller so we can see everything. And then we don't have to do so much stretching. So let's put this at 500 and 500. Eh, maybe a little less. Ah, that's a lot better. Now we can see everything without having to stretch so much. Okay, good. Now <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and do some simple um, styling of our boxes. So to get both of our boxes, we're going to do the um, the class first. And we're going to make both of them be able to fit inside. So we're going to put them at 150 each. And we can both give them a border of a blue, actually of black. Okay. And then we're going to give each one a, a little color here. Okay, and there are our two um, our two boxes. Now, usually you've seen people do um, float left in order to make them go right next to each other. And if we do that, you get this here and then you get this here. And that's fine, but I want to get them centered. So in order to have them centered, we're not going to do that. We're going to actually take away the float like this. And to both of these, we're going to give them inline block like this. Okay. See, now they're next to each other again, but they're, see, they have a little bit of padding. It's really nice. And then to center it, we just do a text align center. Just like that. Now we have them centered. Now what's also cool is that if we give this instead of a width of 400, if we give this a max width of 400, then they'll stay centered no matter how big or how small we make the, let's, let's make this a little bit wider, for example. Let's do the max width of 800 pixels. Okay. So now you see it's still centered. And as we shorten it, it'll stay centered until it comes to the breaking point right there. Okay. Now what's also cool is that you can make this breaking point. Um, let's make these both a little wider. So let's make them 350 each. Okay. 
So now the breaking point comes a little sooner right here, okay? Well, let's say this was my aside and this is my main content. And I'd like my aside to get smaller but my main content to stay big. Well, you can do that. You can do that by giving um, one of them a percentage instead. So we can say the width here is 25%. Now, when I, as you can see, the left one moves until the breaking point, of course, and uh, and it'll it'll stay, you know, it'll get big up until the twenty five percent mark. You can do that with both of them, actually. Now, here you're gonna have to do some math because see, there's a little bit of padding here. You can't do seventy five percent because if you do that. then they automatically push over because of the little bit of padding. So you gotta lose a little bit of, um, you know, trial and error here. So 65% seems like it works just fine, but the same thing will happen, see? It'll, both of them will stretch, but it'll stay right next to each other, just like that. So the practical methods are really awesome because then you can put some information here, some information here, and it'll stay, it'll stay kind of aspect ratio correct. Okay, so there's a quick tip. If you have any questions, please let me know. This is Roberto Matthews. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like more information like this. Have a great day.